Alrighty, so fortunately for me, the Jelly King team is not completely ruined yet with scores. Uh, I guess enough people didn't use it yesterday, which is great. I'm actually really surprised that this team didn't get pushed out because uh, a lot, I do see a lot of people using the Overlord collab trio. Uh, I have yet to use the Overlord characters together in PvP, so we're going to do that with Chaos PvP since it's actually a pretty decent strat. Um, there's a couple of different characters in the back line that I kind of like could have used, I guess. Uh, Shuna, I think, is just the most understandable one considering she puts on damage reduction. But uh, somebody wanted me to use Blue Hawk and Oslo because of Shao Tears uh, Bleed. Probably not going to end up doing that because I don't think it would be worth sacrificing a good backliner for just a little bit of extra bleed damage. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, and there was one other character that I can't remember off the top of my head who it was at this point. But um, either way, Shuna does fit the bill. She actually puts us right at the 5,000 mark. So let's hop in. Uh, I don't know if this is necessarily like my favorite team or anything. Uh, Demon King teams have gotten a little bit of adjustment though. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know if it's just his value that went up or the other characters that people were running with him, but uh, I do notice a lot more Demon King teams without backliners now, so uh, that's pretty interesting, but uh, either way, let's see how this goes. He does have the Tarmiel link there. Ooh, he's got like an ult rush setup as well, which is not good for me. Um, he's probably just going to attack in with his, uh, his Liz, actually. Uh, is it even a good idea? Honestly, it's probably going to be a bad idea, but we're going to play it like this. I assume he is using evasion food. This might not kill her. Okay, nice. It does not kill her. We put on a couple of great debuffs, which is great. Um, That's a really nice merge. We do get an extra AoE. Uh, not 100% sure that I can get it off without him dying from Liz. We'll see. I do get my ultimate here, though, for next turn. He doesn't have any ult removal. Oh, the bleed is going to ruin it there. Uh, well, if he's already got his ultimate, I think we go for the counter into the AoE into the single target. So that way we can put the uh, the death sentence on him. I think he... I can't remember if it's when he puts on... That actually didn't kill her. That's really surprising to me. Um, I can't remember if it's when he puts the shield on that he cleanses the debuffs. Or if it's just the fact that he can only have one debuff. But he might be able to cleanse that off. Um, he does have to hit Albedo with it, which is nice. And I do have ultimate with Shaltier in hand. Unfortunately, though, she's going to die at the end of the turn. Oh, he just cleansed it off with her. Okay, fair enough. Fair play. Actually still kills me. I'm, I'm very surprised by that. He's going to pop Berserk here, though. And I might be able to pull a, a funny little play off here. So let's go for the ultimate since we have it. Uh, and then I don't have bleed on, though, man. Is this... This is an AoE, though. Will this put on bleed, actually? I'm very, very curious. I really hope it does, because that would be fantastic. Does this put on bleed? Okay, it hits. Pretty good damage overall. I think that put bleed on. It did. It did put bleed on. Okay, fantastic. I love that. That is, that is really nice. Hopefully this pops the res. Boom, boom, boom. And it puts on the debuff. So he's dead at the end of the turn, right? Uh, it didn't apply the debuff. Okay, unfortunate. Oh, I think he... I think he reset his stacks, actually, which is unfortunate. That kind of sucks, but not much I can do about that. I could stun him out of that stance, which is really funny. I might... I might do that. Nah, he's... Okay, he gave up. Honestly, I wasn't 100% sure how that was going to go. I think that was actually pretty nice. Let me grab a couple more tickets and we'll, uh, we'll hop back in. All right, what do we got? Ooh, okay. Catastrophe team can be a little annoying. Ooh, is this... This is Karmic Lotus. Are you kidding me? Karmic Lotus, if you don't know, is the guy who won... I think he... No, he didn't win the overall tournament on Global, but he has, like, one of the best accounts in the game. Why would it put me up against this man? I'm actually tanking kind of nice. Okay. We're kind of chilling at the moment. 
Goes for the triple AoE play. I mean, that is a lot of damage, so I'm probably screwed. But, might not be in the absolute worst position. Um, let's go for this. We'll just apply some stacks, lower some stacks, put some infect on, try to build some passive. Obviously, I'm only 2-6, so Ein's damage reduction isn't going to be the best here, but it is what it is. That's not a lot of damage, so the Flood card on Roxy's probably going to chew through my Albedo, if I had to guess, which is a bit bad for me. Um, realistically, though, I mean, like, these characters can do okay, but I think if I can kill the Roxy off, I'm going to be in a really, really good position. Problem is, he has good AoEs with this team. Like, each of these characters has an AoE card, so he's probably still going to be able to kill my, uh, maybe my side two units here. Okay, he goes for the single target. Does he kill me? He does kill me. Okay, well, yep. All right, there goes her. That is a bit unfortunate. Um, ooh, the level three single target is crazy good. He has Harmia Link on her? No, he has Maya Link. Okay. I think we go for this then. Because this is going to put extra stacks on. I don't know that this first card is going to kill, which is why I went ahead and double killed, but, or double attack. If it does kill, which it doesn't, um, I might have been able to put the debuff on the second character that it hit. Okay. That's actually really, really good. We'll get ultimate in hand. He's infected. These characters don't do the most. <laughs> the 8% basic stats for humans in the back with the uh, with the Hauser. I was literally just thinking about that play yesterday, which is so much fun. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I say fun. It's, it's really funny that uh, it's even like an, an option, I guess. But... Um, um, they do have bleed on. I think it expires this turn, though, so I don't know that I'm going to be able to pull this off. All right, he literally had so many single targets in hand. That's crazy. Um, does he still keep bleed on? He does keep bleed on. I'm in Berserk. Give me an extra exploit card, man. Uh, let's go for this, I guess. If this doesn't kill, we stun whoever. Okay. Um... Not the worst. The fact that I'm defense-related stat lowered, though, is going to be a real problem, I think. <sighs> and I get AoE and another stun. Okay, he's going to just push for ultimate with two characters. Oh, never mind. He, uh, the cleanse, man. I forgot she has a cleanse, even though he literally just used it earlier. Oh, well. I mean, hey, I think we actually put up a really good fight, considering this is one of the best accounts on Global. So, I mean, hey, I can't really complain. He kills me here, right? He does. That's unfortunate. All right, well, is what it is. Hey, man, good game. All righty. Ooh, okay, we have an Amelia on, on the enemy team. I do out CC, which is good for me. Um, Might be a bit of an issue. Is it even worth stancing? Probably not. Well, I guess I kind of need to. I'm going to go ahead and stance anyway. He's got... Uh, he's got to be using some sort of uh, like CC or food or something like that. I, I highly doubt this is evasion food, so we're just going to go ahead and infect first. Throw us uh, an extra AoE out. Try to get closer towards Ainz's passive, maybe. Uh, he's probably going to... He has to freeze me if he wants to get through the counter, which uh, might not be the worst thing in the world. We do get an extra AoE. We could... Single target on the Albedo. Um, does he throw up the stance? He does throw up the stance. That's unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's go for... He breaks it? Weird play. I guess he does that so that way he doesn't get the damage reduction. Or the the damage dealt increase or whatever. Uh, let's go for... Can I? I can't rush ultimate with anybody, really. We can push maybe towards hers, and then we can throw the sync target out on the Albedo here. So, boom. A little bit of damage there. Nothing crazy on the counter, which is really good for me. I get HP-related stats from that, actually, so we'll have Berserk next turn. Uh, decent little counter there, but nothing super crazy. Um, oh, she has debuff immunity on. She has Esterosa in the back line. Okay, okay, okay. Esterosa backline is pretty interesting. I'll give it to her. 
Okay. Um. Hmm. He's got Berserk this turn, so he might be able to follow up pretty nicely here. Uh, let's see how much he does. If he doesn't kill my Shaltier, I have some exploit cards ready for him. Okay, he goes for Elbetto. Doesn't quite kill. That disabled her as well. And he throws on the stance. Actually, might be in a decent position here. She's full health, though, so probably not. Um, let's go for the single target into the single target here. Hopefully that's enough to kill. I'm not convinced. We also, actually, we don't have bleed on her at all, so. Ooh, and Eins is down. That sucks, man. Yeah, he's got me here. Amelia really didn't help that much, but the Estorosa backline was insane. So that is, uh, that is a good game. All right, anyway, moving on. Ooh, okay, we have a Halloween Merlin variant. He out CCs me as well, okay. SSQ Legion's a pretty high tier guild. Um, uh, he's going to seal my AoEs here, if I had to guess, which might kind of suck for me because I won't be able to pull off Ainz's passive as much. And I'm using HP food, so I'm not going to be able to dodge that. I guess technically I could maybe go for a dodge food or something, but I don't know. I guess I'll be all right. Um, and then he throws up the stance. It's fair. I think we just go for stance on our end into... Hmm. I guess we just throw... I guess we just try to go for her ultimate. Because, I mean, realistically, there's not a whole lot else I can do. I say realistically a lot lately. Anyway. A little bit of a... A little bit of a counter there. Obviously, didn't do basically any damage. I get my ultimate in hand, which will kind of put some pressure on him. And I can pop Berserk next turn. So, or like on my turn. So, we'll see how that goes. We can go for like an Infect if he doesn't seal me, which I'm... He does have some decent level 2s in hand. This is an, also an AoE ultimate, so if this... Ooh, he is using a card. If this is a, a stance... Or a, an AoE cancel, or whatever you want to call it. AoE disable, maybe. Um, I'm in a bad spot. Okay, it's the Pierce card. This might actually hit hard. Okay, not too bad. Nice, okay. We're kind of chilling. So we're going to put on the Infect. We're going to take a little bit of a counter here. We do have Berserk on, so hopefully it's not the craziest counter you've ever seen. And then we're going to go for this. So we can follow up with the Berserk damage a little bit. So here's hoping I don't die from this. Ooh, that crit scared me. Okay, I think we're chilling though. AoE ultimate boom. Kills off the other two. She's uh, infected, so this kills 100%. Nice, okay. Pretty nice little game, I gotta say. Even with us getting out CC'd, worked out for us pretty good. Okay, okay. I, I, there's definitely a little bit more like thought and like strategy that goes into using this team obviously like the jelly king team is just like weak point kill and then that's it but uh i don't know it's still pretty funny Ooh, a valenti if you know me i like valenti um i'm honestly not 100 percent sure if he's gonna be running evasion food on this so we're gonna aoe with eins first i'm assuming he is boom he's not okay um, the LR Eskinor play is a very interesting one. He also has either Merlin in the back or he's using ultimate gauge food, which might be a really big issue because if he uh, he's rushing ultimate, uh, that might be really hard to counter. Boom. Not a lot on that, that counter either. Um... Yikes. Okay, let's go for... Uh... This? I really don't know if there's a, a, a way for me to, to kill here. Decent, decent damage there, but nothing crazy. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, at least it's a single target a uh, ultimate, so it's not going to kill, like, my whole team by any means. But he's probably going to kill Ainz, maybe, if I had to guess. 
least that's who I'd probably kill. He still has his cards in hand, too. Shaltier. Very, very peculiar. I guess. He's gonna... The, oh, the unfortunate part, too, is he does so much damage with that ultimate that he basically life steals his entire HP back, which sucks. Okay, so we're actually kind of chilling. Um, hopefully he can't rush for another ultimate. Ooh, he didn't attack Albedo either. Here's hoping. Even if it doesn't kill, we put the red debuff on. As long as he can't rush for ultimate and get his debuff immunity, we should be okay. Boom, 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 boom. Not the craziest damage you've ever seen, but he, he literally has to rush ultimate or die. Um, hey, all right. Why would you go for the shout here, I, I wonder? Like, I mean, I guess, but, I mean, he's seen me use the Shaltier cards turn one, so, like, I mean, you know, unless I just got good card draw, which I had, like, a couple of cards in hand, but I didn't have an AoE or anything, which he didn't know that. I don't know. Kind of a weird, weird, weird game. All right, we have a last match here. What a team. Holy. All right. Terry and Zena. So he's going to be going for Ult Rush here. So, let's just go for... Um, I can only imagine he's still using evasion food. Maybe? No evasion food. Okay, I'm going to end up disabling my eyes here. Luckily, his passive is the part that has the, the extra stuff on it. Um, I think he'll still be able to get his ultimate, though, if I had to guess. So, that's a bit unfortunate. Mm, depending on, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we can work this out. Okay, he uses a card here. He doesn't get ultimate because that only gives you one ultimate move gauge. Throws up a counter. Throws up a taunt. He does have Estorosa in the back line though, so. It, we're going to gain the damage dealt increase, but I'm honestly okay with it. We'll see how it goes. Because I, with this team, I mean, he can... Well, actually, he can take the ultimate off with these two. I didn't even think about that. But... Um, I don't think he's going to have enough damage to deal with me. Okay, pushes for ultimate. Does he take my ultimate off? He does. Okay. Um... I mean, that ultimate definitely would have been nice. But... Might not be the worst thing in the world. I think I can kill with her. I'm not 100% about killing with these two. So... I'm gonna use this, maybe? I think I can kill both of those two side characters off, hopefully. Plus, I'm not going to disable myself because I don't I don't attack with uh, Ainz on Albedo twice. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, hopefully he doesn't lifesteal too much here. I don't think he did. Ooh, I don't think that kills. Oh, it kills. Okay, he has one ult in hand and it's Albedo's. Yes, Albedo's ultimate is scary, but... Uh, I should lose this. Okay, yeah, I lose the damage dealt increase, which is really good. I now have two ults in hand. Um, I I'm I, I was maybe risking a little bit by by taking this ultimate. I'll be honest, I'm not that scared of it. Yeah, that figures. That figures. Gotcha. I've got gotcha. you. <laughs> okay, so uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's an okay team. I don't really mind it. It's got a little bit more strategy, of course, which can be a little bit more fun. Um, I don't know. I really like... I mean, this is like the new hot team right now. I'm already... You know, I've been using the uh, the Overlord collab characters quite a bit and everything. So, I'm if I keep using teams like this, it's just going to burn me out. So, realistically, I like using the, the Jelly King team a little bit more. Because Jelly King is just a character that is just so random. Like, just really never got a whole lot of use. Um, so... It's just kind of fun to use a character like that right now. 
But uh, definitely, you know, obviously, like, not everybody's got Jelly King, for example, and a lot of the uh, the older characters that do end up becoming halfway decent for this game mode. Uh, some people either don't have them powered up or whatever the case may be, so it's completely understandable if you, uh, if you just want to use this theme because they're new, you just got them, you just powered them up understandable. Uh, not my favorite, but definitely a pretty good contender. Um, I think the Demon King team is probably the next, like, most popular. Uh, maybe the Catastrophe team, but uh, you gotta you gotta have some really high CC on the Catastrophes uh, to really make it work, I think. And most of the people that I see using it do have really high CC. So, uh, either way, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.